you have a swimming pool and you're wondering if the salt water system that you want is going to damage the pump and the heater. That's something that you've heard about before. Pumps and heaters are expensive and you've heard that maybe salt can damage them. And to a further extent, maybe you've seen ladders, stainless steel ladders that have been damaged from salt water, or at least that's what you've been told. And you're concerned, you don't want to ruin your pool. These things are expensive. So here's what you need to know. Adding salt water doesn't automatically ruin anything. What it does do is it drastically increases the likelihood that you will have a chemical situation with your water, which leads to damage to equipment such as pumps or more likely heaters and to a further extent ladders. But again, in a properly managed swimming pool environment and a properly built swimming pool, adding salt water doesn't automatically just start damaging the components. It's going to make the pH of the water high pretty much chronically. And that's an issue because on the saturation index, that means you will exist in a scaling state. You'll have scale developing on the internals of your heater and that will cause damage to the heater, things like that. So there are considerations, but no, it doesn't automatically damage your pump and your heater and if you have a properly bonded bonded and grounded ladder a stainless steel ladder it shouldn't damage the ladder itself the ladders are stainless steel and they're meant for immersion in chlorine and so they're pretty good at not sustaining damage they should last 10 20 30 years at a time if you are seeing an example of a ladder which has extensive corrosion rust or it's got blue or black streaks on it and it kind of looks like it's been hit by lightning that's not an indication that salt water has damaged this ladder that's an indication that the ladder is not properly bonded and it's currently experiencing advanced corrosion from galvanic corrosion and so that's a different issue that's a deficiency within the pool itself and not an indication of salt necessarily though it would be a more pronounced damage that you notice in a saltwater pool versus a traditional chlorine swimming pool if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com